Hello, my friends. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Bjorn and I am in Africa. That is why the name of my channel is Bjorn in Africa. And I am in Nairobi, Kenya right now. And um, they're saying it's winter time. The temperatures are a little bit cooler than normal it's about um in the right now it's about 18 degrees celsius and getting cooler and cooler um throughout the night my friends make sure to subscribe to my channel now um you can also join the channel become a member and support the journey the mission of this channel is to bridge the gap between Africa and the Caribbean because we are one people separated by slavery and colonialism. We know that hundreds of years ago, the Europeans took Africans from West Africa, Central Africa, all parts of Africa, and um, took them across the Atlantic Ocean all the way to the Caribbean south america and north america that is why we have africans america african americans in america we have black people in the caribbean and also in south america so that is the mission of the channel is to bridge the gap between africa and the caribbean and of course i am from the caribbean nation Twin Island state of St. Kitts and Nevis. And we are located in the Eastern Caribbean. If you look north, you look up to Cuba, uh, Miami area, and come on down the line, you will see these small islands down the line. Um, you look in the middle of those small islands in the Eastern Caribbean, um, you'll find us St. Kitts and Nevis that is where i'm from and i'm on a journey in africa bridging the gap my friends so join me in my journey and subscribe to my channel today but my friends the topic for today is african food versus caribbean food now i'm not experienced in this field but i'm just gonna let you know a little bit of what um, uh, my experience is eating Caribbean food and eating African food. Um, one of my favorite, let me start off, one of my favorite food um, in Africa, in Kenya they call it Ugali, or in Uganda they call it Porsche. I think in Nigeria they call it Gari, which is maize, maize meal. It's white, it's maize meal um you take the maize and you grind it and you get the powder um in the caribbean we call that corn meal which is it's yellow you know the corn is yellow and we grind the corn which um and you could make your you you pour hot water on it boiling water um you pour it in the pot with boiling water throw some in and turn it until it you get a thick ball a thick paste and then you eat it now in Africa, um, I realized the maize meal is white and it tastes to me, it tastes better than the cornmeal, but it's just like cornmeal, but it's white. Um, it tastes much better than cornmeal. It takes a little, uh, it's smoother and the texture is much better. So I'm telling you, I have fallen in love with Ugali in Kenya. Um, they call it Ugali, and that's maize meal. I'm for, I have fallen in love with it. I actually eat it every morning for breakfast. I, um, it's quick to make. It takes less than five minutes to make. So, and it's very nutritious. It makes you feel, um, give you a lot of energy, but it doesn't give you that heavy feeling. It's nice on the stomach and um uh, you could add that with meat i add it with eggs every morning and another thing is that um in africa um in kenya where i'm at is like a lot there's a lot of meat 
a lot of fresh meat all around um in the caribbean uh we don't eat much meat i personally like meat but the people in the caribbean don't eat much meat they eat um a variety of like chicken pork fish but in africa I eat a lot of meat man and i like that because i am a meat eater and you could find um meat being grilled grilled meat stew meat all type of meat yamachoma in kenya what i found unique is that um in kenya you know goat they call goat meat yamachoma and i love it because you could find it being grilled i would have had grilled goat meat and um they just put it on the grill just like how um in the caribbean you we barbecue chicken we put um the barbecue on the chicken um and we grill the chicken in africa you they grill meat on the grill at home where i'm from nobody does that on the grill you would only find like fish and chicken and um sometimes ribs on the grill but in africa all types of meat is going on that grill and i love that and i would have find that um i have never been to south africa if you're watching from south africa let me know because south africa is one of the countries i admire now i would have seen a few videos in south africa where um they call braai that's they're gonna grill have a grill like a grill party they call it braai and they put all type of meat on the grill and they grill that meat and they would sit down and they would eat and drink i love that so when i come to south africa i need a visa to come to south africa but i'm gonna get a visa one of these days and when i come to south africa i want to have a braai with some of you guys some of my, my subscribers because i have some south african subscribers we could have a braai and let me eat some of that south african meat and let me let me know what you think about um um caribbean food i know caribbean we eat a lot of rice and peas rice and peas and um in jamaica if you're watching from jamaica i'm loving the jamaican um rice and peas and stew what they call it curry mutton curry mutton i would have had something similar in kenya um they don't call it curry mutton but they call it um mutton mutton stew something like that yamachoma is not yama yamachoma is when it's kind of dry let me know if you're watching from kenya um how do you do your yamachoma um because i know you in jamaica you call it curry goat and you stew up the goat meat in a nice stew and you serve it with like rice and peas and vegetables but i would have had ugali cornmeal and um not cornmeal ugali because it's white it's maize meal um and goat meat um, in the caribbean we have like um, cornmeal which is yellow and fish they have it they serve it with fish um some people serve it with chicken but it is mostly served with fish but here in um kenya where i'm at and uganda um it is served with anything all types of meat fish chicken meat ugali is there and in uh in um uganda they have what we call um in the caribbean we call it green banana green banana where you get the green banana and you boil it but in uganda they have um, a type of banana what's the name of it again i even forgot the name what's the name let me think let me think um uh forgot the name man um it's uganda um it's bananas they don't call it banana matoke yes i got it matoke uh where they got the green banana you know uganda in uganda they have lots of food on the streets man lots of food and vegetables and fruits matoke everywhere and their green banana is different to what we have in the caribbean it's bigger 
much bigger and it's softer as well it's easier to boil you put the green banana in the pot you i would have seen um someone wrap up you peel the green banana they peel the um matoke the green banana wrap it up in banana leaves and steam it in the pot and it's soft and nice when it comes out all they do is to mash it with their hands and it's like mashed mashed banana that's what we call at home but at home it, the banana is much harder when you boil it you have to mash it up on the ground mash it up with something and eat it but um in uganda it just melt away in the banana leaves in the pot it's amazing and i notice in uganda they don't serve as much meat as in kenya but you have a lot more variety like you have your matoke your ugali vegetables um rice they would put all of that on one plate with beans and serve you but my problem is i'm a meat eater and um so I like it simple. I will just like a little bit of ugali on the plate and a lot of meat or a lot of chicken or a lot of fish. But some ugali and some um uh what they call in Kenya skuma wiki. Um that's a green, some kind of green leaves, um steam green leaves. Um but everything is utilized here in Africa, all types of food um are here so but in east africa where where we come our um culture is closer to west africa in the caribbean the culture is closer to west africa so i noticing i've never been to west africa some people are saying i look nigerian um but i have never been to west africa one of these days but I would have had Nigerian food and it's spicy, my friends, very, very hot and spicy. And I would have seen in the videos food from Ghana, um, Nigeria and Senegal and so. And the food looks similar to in the Caribbean. And the spices, different spices, and so they cook with a lot of different spices. And um, the food is similar. West African food and Caribbean food is similar than Caribbean food and East African food. Another thing I just remembered, in East Africa, they have a food called pelau, where they would cook rice and meat, diced meat with rice they call it pelau but in the caribbean we have something called cook up where we cook rice and chicken some people add salt fish and pork to it and they call that cook up in the caribbean but in east africa they just call it pelau it's just meat cut up meat and rice that's it and i think i like that better the cut up meat and rice because i am a meat eater as i said my friends but so uh, what i'm saying um the food you could tell the food is similar there's a lot of similarities um in the food you can see that we are one people one nation separated by the transatlantic european slave trade and colonialism but even though we were separated for hundreds of years our food remains very similar and that is why i'm blending in this easy in africa because when i eat the food it reminds me of home um in east, in east africa they don't cook with much spices and so like in the caribbean and in west africa but the food is pretty good still i would have had ethiopian food um it's unique in taste um they have they serve a lot of different beans and so they on a platter i forgot the name of that platter but if you're watching from from ethiopia let me know the type of foods you have
but I'm a simple guy. I could eat chicken, meat, and ugali and eggs every day. I could eat the same thing over and over again because I'm a simple guy. I, um, I like a lot of meat. I eat chicken. I eat fish. I eat rice, ugali, you name it. And another thing in East Africa, Kenya and Uganda, chapati. What they call chapati is something like what we call Johnny Cakes at home. And I realize in uh, Ghana and West Africa, they ball up, they ball up the um, flour just like Johnny Cakes and they would fry it in the, pot, in the pan. And we do the same exact thing at home the same exact thing we roll up the flour uh, ball and we fry it with some oil in the pan and you call that um dumplings in jamaica they call it dumplings but in sink it's a nevis we call it johnny cakes i don't know where we got the name johnny cakes from but that's where we call it what we call it so i can't speak much about north africa and i can't speak much about south africa because i never been but once i get there i would let you know but what i like about southern africa what i could see in the videos is that they eat a lot of meat in southern africa and i love meat um i know in uh botswana and namibia they said they actually have more um cattle cows than people so they export a lot of their um, cow meat to Europe and I wish we could get some of that in the Caribbean come on Botswana come on Namibia export some of that meat across the ocean to the Caribbean because I would love some of that meat once I'm home in the Caribbean and I know the people there would love it but my friends that's it for now let me know I'm sure I could go on and on, but let me know what you feel and think about African food versus Caribbean food. Which one is better, in my view? Which one is better? Which one is better? Mm. I'm going to tell you the honest truth, my friends. Because of my diet and what I like, I prefer African food. You know why? Because... I could see there's a lot of meat. I could get a lot of meat. I could get a lot of fruits. I could get chicken. Um, they don't, um, here in East Africa, they don't do a lot of fancy meals. But you will see the chicken. You will see the meat. You will see ugali, rice. Um, you will get your eggs. You would get um, um, your sausages. I don't eat much sausages and so on. Um, basic food you will get those so that is why I prefer um, African food because it's cleaner in East Africa they don't mix their food with a lot of things it's simple clean you get your meat you get your ugali and rice and you get your vegetables as well and I like that I like the simple um, food so that's why I'm giving african food the win and there's more there's an abundance of meat and um fresh fruits and vegetables but in the caribbean you could get a lot of that as well but in africa is more and i would have had oh i i almost forgot fish i would have had river fish in uganda and i'm telling you the fish is uh, massive massive fish um when you go to the marketplace and they're cutting up the fish it's like they're cutting up meat slabs and slabs of fish and uh, i would have had a piece of that um stewed fish uh it tastes they say it's coming from the river but it tastes nice and soft and um well seasoned river fish so i prefer that fish than the fish from the sea because it's more meat, less bone, and um, the flavor is very soft and tender. And the flavor is good and you get more. So that is why I prefer it. But let me know 
what you think about um this video but i will say in the caribbean we have you get more seafood you will see lobsters um shrimps and uh, and so is you'll get a lot more of that but here is meat paradise my friends meat paradise if you're a meat Af meat eater africa is a place to be so let me know what you think about the video comment um and let me know the types of food you like in the caribbean and the types of food you like in africa let's have a conversation and um, i would have given you my experience there's a lot more to tell but you will give me the information in the comment section make sure to comment and make sure to like share and follow my channel and subscribe subscribe and subscribe please support the channel by subscribing today and you could also join the channel and watch all the ads on the channel because by watching the ads you youtube pays me a little bit of money since here and there um so it adds up to a little revenue for my time so my friends thank you for watching this video and make sure to share it with all your friends and family and i'll see you again in the next video my name is beyond i am in africa that is why the name of this channel is beyond in africa and the purpose of this channel is to bridge the gap between africa and the caribbean islands we are one people separated by slavery and colonialism but now we are coming back together as one nation forevermore thank you again and i'll see you again in the next video bye bye